Shorya, and I have learned coding in Robot Drive Time Lab from a few months. I have learned Scratch and MIT App Inventor. Well, I'm still learning MIT App Inventor, but yeah, Scratch was really fun. Coding is is good because it can help you solve logical problems easily. Before, when I didn't know coding, I it was really hard for me to solve problems and make different stuff. So, but now I've learned to code. So over here now we can I learned to break down different problems and solve it in a well structured manner. So um, in Scratch, I've learned many things such as games, how to make games, how to make animations, and many more stuff. So I would recommend uh, other kids to also learn coding. Well, yeah. Thank you. This is my Dino Chrome game, which I made in Scratch. So this is a game which will usually come when there's no internet on Google and you search something. So over here, I have used a scrolling background technique, which will make an illusion that uh, that will show the dinosaur moving to the right or running. So, uh, I, yeah. So this is how it works. Over here, the dinosaur is jumping above the cactus and the cactus is moving to the left. So after, now if you have seen, the cactus has touched the dinosaur. So over here, now the game over game. And yeah, a sound has been played. So this is the code for the dinosaur. So when we click this uh, space, a uh, space key, uh, a sound will be played, and uh, the in uh, the dinosaur will jump up by a uh, hundred y, and it'll come down by hundred y. So when when the game starts, the score will be uh, to zero, and the Dinosaur will come to a specific place, which is here. And every time, every second, um, after one uh, point one second, the costume will change to show that the dinosaur is actually running. But over here, the actually uh, the actually the dinosaur is at the place, but the background is scrolling to the left. So when the over here, when the cactus touches the dinosaur, it play a sound and It'll play one of the two beats which I need and the game will stop. So over here, if the score has a zero at the end, like any number like 10, 20, 30, 40, if it has a zero, then it'll play a sound and it'll wait for a few seconds. So now this is, so there are two lands, uh, yeah, two lands. So when the first, when the first land is in the middle of the stage, it will start to move to the left and the second land will follow it. So once the first land goes fully to the left and the right one is in the middle of the stage, then um, the first land will go directly to the right and start again move to the left. So this, this will always be moving and yeah. So this is the same code as the first land. So this is the first land and this is the second land. Now this is the cactus code. So this code will make so this is this code will actually hide the real cactus and it'll start to make clones of the cactus. So here now uh, when the clone is created, the clone will go to the rightmost edge and will choose any one of the costumes. So this is one of the costumes. This, 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 and this. So when it'll choose one of them and the cactus will move to the left left side okay. and now here there's a score if you have seen the right side so uh, every time the dinosaur jumps above the cactus or the cactus passes the dinosaur the score will increase by one now we have a high score also we used a cloud variable to make a high score now when we set a high score which is 50 my high score is 57. Now, if my normal score, which I played now, my recent score goes above 57, then the high score will follow my score. So in case my score becomes 59, so the high score will be set to 59. And when the, uh, the cactus touches the dinosaur, then yeah, then the game will be over and the, the score it is at, at 
you need a high score. And after, if the high score is set or the dinosaur jumps above, at the end, the clone of the cactus will be deleted. Now this is the game over part. So at this, at the start when the game starts, the game over the game over title will not be there. And when the cactus touches the dinosaur, the game over title will be shown. And now this is the clouds. If you have seen, they are moving from the right to the left. So this is the same as the cactus uh, as they're creating the clones and they're set to a different size and they can get any Y position which they can be like somewhere here or sometimes here. So they can choose and there are different costumes also of the clouds. This is one, this is one, this is one and this is one. So I'll choose any one of the costumes and move till the left. So over here there's nothing but when it reaches the leftmost edge the clone of the cloud will be deleted. 